everyone welcome back to another episode of Huey's Tackle uh, today when I got home from work it looks like I got some of my new lures in so I'm gonna go ahead and do an unboxing we'll start with this big box here or actually we'll go ahead and start with this little box these baits are ordered from sugar tick custom lures He was about the only person I used that actually had some in stock. Looks like in this bag, looks like my little shad runners I got. Uh, these are a real good bait, kind of a knockoff or the Rapala shad runners, I think that's what they are. I think I got like eight or ten of these. So that was all that was in that little box. We'll open this big box. Kind of forgot what I ordered. It's really just went through there clicking some stuff. Let's see. Looks like he gave me a sticker. A little huggy. Let's see. We got in this bag. This is the seven inch trout swim bait. I plan on painting that like the trout. Soon, let's see. These are like a little paddle tail micro swim bait, a little bluegill pattern. A little don't look too bad. Looks like the tails you can replace if you need to. Let's see what else in here. Looks like the only other thing in this bag. I think I got five or six of these three and a half inch poppers. Uh, somebody wanted me to paint a frog pattern on one of these, so I'll do that here shortly as well for y'all. Let's see. And this looks like a little bag of swim baits. When I seen this one online, it looked a little bigger than it actually is. But when I initially seen this, uh, we have a lot of hybrid and stripers around here where I live. So that's what I'm going to paint these two baits up as. I think that'll do pretty good. Then I think these were the four and a half inch uh, little bass swim baits, I think is what they called them. These don't look too bad. They got some decent action in them. These, let's see. Can't remember about two styles of these. The other style I have, you actually have to glue the bill in. But I believe these were the 20 foot divers, I think it was. If not, it'd be the 30, but I have two of these that look alike. One's a 20 foot diver and one's a 30 foot. Let's see what we have here. These. These square bills cost me a little more, but they're a little better quality a lot cleaner and I think these were the DRS rattles I got a good amount of those let's see <clears throat> this bag this is a two and a half or three inch flat sided wake bait that's a little smaller than I expected, but that's fine. Let's see, and here's another holographic weight bait. It's got like that greenish bluish chip in the middle. I don't know if you can see it flashing there. But that should do really well, like a shiner pattern. Then I also have these, I think there's a bill in here, yeah. These are, I don't know if you can really tell, but this is a crawfish here it's got the claw at the back the body the eyes 
Then you had to come in here and you had to glue the bill in. So them would do great. The first time I ever paint some of these, so I'll try to get the lines and the creases in the shells and put a little accent on them. That's these. I think these are like the Mega Bass version square bills. These are, I haven't painted these yet. I've ordered some of these off Amazon, but they kept giving me the wrong things about six or seven months ago. And me, I'm a big topwater fisherman. Anytime I see the opportunity, I'll fish topwater. So I've got these 75 millimeter ploppers. So let's see. Here's some more. Let's see this one. These are the slant eyes. I think these are the 100s and the round ones are the one or maybe 90. Let me look at this ticket and see. There we go. So no, the smaller one would be the 90s, the bigger ones are the 100. I didn't get the 110s. Or 130s. These is something new I've seen. This is a medium flat sided wiggle wart. And I also bought the same thing in a fold version. So that will be really good to paint. When you paint this, you have to use transparent paint to make sure you keep this foiling in there. These I've always liked 1.5 medium divers. Uh, as well, these here cost me a little more because they're the higher quality ones. But it should work out better in the long run. And these I'm thinking are going to be my 30 foot deep divers. And these are pretty big. I have to glue all this in. So yeah, that would be my 30. The other ones I showed you was a 20. Uh, we've got some deep lakes around here, so I'm sure these will come in handy. And let's see. And I also ordered these. It's another bag of 1.5. I ordered these in just to have something to paint. Uh, I mean, but they're fairly good quality. Uh, these come from Shelts off Amazon. I think they're like uh, $25 for 25 of them. Let's see. So that's everything in there. And I also just want to talk about this guy here, uh, Whitemore Farms. Uh, they make stencils. I uh, emailed this gentleman. Uh, he replied back almost instantly. Uh, he had a pattern on his website that I liked, but it was just a little too big for what I wanted to do. So I emailed him and see if he would make me one. And before I even had the opportunity to ask him, he said, hey, I'll cut you one out if it looks good. I'll email you a picture. Uh, so, I mean, that's what he did. Outstanding guy, good customer service. Uh, this is like a reptile pattern. I'll be using this when I go to make the frog. I mean, you can tell in here, he was telling me he got it a little too small and there's some passageways between these are actually burnt because it's supposed to be kind of like this, but it was so small that it was burning, which I didn't care. Cause I mean, I'll use these smaller ones for the most part when I do the detailing, I use a big one. So, I mean, I can't say enough about the Whitemore Farms. He's a good guy. I actually have some more of his other stencils uh, let's see this one here I use uh, to do my stripes which here's another one of it uh, and it's got a couple different patterns you can do a little baby bass uh, tiger stripes little crawl dots I mean they're good stencils fairly cheap pricing and I also 
other than white more i use insane custom stencils i've been looking at the anarchy anarchy models in uk uh, they have some he has some good uh, stencils as well i've been looking at it just uh, for one to have it shipped over here i think it was like 30 dollars to ship it across seas and i just haven't got it up to order one yet because when i do i plan on ordering two or three because you got like a multi creature features like a bunch of little dots and uh, what was the other one and i think he's got some mini snake scale patterns that i really like i've seen all of these mr jen at jekyll bait shoes and uh they turn out really good so i'm interested in getting some of those as well i was hoping the little weight bait starter were this size because I really like these. It's a little shad pa pattern I painted. So I'm going to order some more of these. I believe these came from either Backwater or Cedar Run. But when I checked Cedar Run, he was mostly out of everything I normally use. But upcoming, when I go to paint, I've been working on this pattern here. I've seen this that uh, lure me in custom uh, crankbaits, I believe it was, on YouTube. Uh, he called this his supreme uh, i believe it was pumpkin seed i mean it turned out really good i'll wind up painting another one of these for y'all uh, this side i put the stripes on a little too dark it looks a little better with the faded stripes like this and i mean it turned out better than i expected <laughs> and Let's see, and here's another one I've seen he done as well. Uh, this one didn't turn out as good as I expected it to. But I mean, it didn't turn out too bad, but nothing like this one. So uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be painting a swim bait for one of the subscribers he asked. And also the 3.5 popper I had a gentleman ask to paint a frog. I'll do that as well. So uh, just stay tuned and be looking for those videos. And if you have anything you see me pull out that you would like to see painted in a particular pattern... Uh, just let me know if you're interested in buying any of these baits or want a pattern done your way. Uh, feel free to email me. My business email is always in the description below. Uh, just want to say thanks for everyone that subscribed and been liking and watching the videos. I'll do what I can to get some more content up for y'all guys. I uh, just want to say thank you. Uh, stay tuned for more.